Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead on Forest Time today. Guys, it's, it is a beautiful day. Uh, the temperature has been perfect. Um, wake up to the 30s in the morning and it warms up to about 65 during the day. You can't ask for much better than that. Blue skies, uh, except for yesterday. Yesterday the chemtrail will fool out of the skies. And you know the funny thing is people say there are no chemtrails, but the sky yesterday was completely full of them, and there's just as many planes flying today, and there's no chemtrails. So, take it for what it's worth. Today, at least the sky is all bright blue and beautiful. God's been good today. He has given us really nice weather today. As a matter of fact, we've had several days of very nice weather. Uh, we did finally get some rain here. I think we're up to about five inches of rain now. Uh, it's not... Uh, the streams aren't back flowing and running like they were and, you know, stuff like that. But at least uh, there's some water in the streams. They're just not gushing streams like they were. But we're getting there. We're going to make it. God's going to be good. But, you know, I, you know, Wanda and I were talking last night. And, um, and it's just one of those things that uh, sometimes we just have these heart-to-heart -heart talks, Wanda and I do. Because we spend a lot of our time doing YouTube. And um, we were sitting down trying to figure out about how much time we do spend on YouTube. And, and we spend roughly about eight hours a day uh, doing YouTube. And because uh, we were wondering, gosh, why are we always so tired? You know? And because we... We still have gardening, we still have work on the cabin, we still have our animals, we still have our chores, we still have everything we do during the day. But on top of that, we're shooting videos, we're editing videos, we're, uh, you know, we're just living our life here on our homestead and we're putting it behind a camera for people to, like you guys to see. And, uh, and even though I'm sitting here right now shooting porch time, Wanda has been editing for about four hours today already. And, um, it seems like it's a cycle. It's a, it seems like it's a never-ending cycle. And we were just, uh, we were talking about, you know, how tired we stay and how that um, we're not about entertainment. What we do, uh, we may put up an entertaining video once in a blue moon, but it's just for fun. But 99% of what we do is our everyday life, and it is showing you what we do and how we do it. And guys, the video today, I wanted, I always give my videos a title because it makes it easier for me to stay on theme if I do that. And the, the title or the theme for the video today is, Do I Tickle Your Ears? And stop and think about that because one and I come to the conclusion that we are truly, and I mean this from the, from the depths of my heart, we are truly in the latter days of an age. Um, because uh, the scripture teaches us, and um, if I'm correct, 2 Timothy chapter 4, I believe it is, that in the, the, the latter days of an age, that people will not endure sound doctrine. In other words, they don't want to hear the truth. And they want to be entertained. Uh, and you'll find that this comes right before the fall of any empire. People uh, refuse to hear the truth anymore. And all they want to do is be entertained by something, whether it's sports or comedy or, or actually the Romans, the, 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 you know, they're, they're tearing apart of people by animals and, you know, the gladiators or whatever you want to call it. Um, every empire goes through this. And we're no different. And one and I have noticed our views on our videos and everything are going way down. And, and it bothers her because we spend so much time doing it. And I told her, I said, you know, what it is, is we live in the, we live in the latter days of an age, and the people now don't want to hear the truth because the more I tell the truth, the, the lower our view rate goes and the lower our subscriber rate goes. And I told Wanda, I said, it's just a simple fact. We're not entertaining people. 
we're out trying to tell the truth. And when you're in the latter days of an age, the Bible says that people will, will want their ears to be tickled. They don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear something that makes them feel good. And, and that's where we don't, uh, we don't fit in there. Uh, because we, we show you our everyday life here. We talk about uh, the rise and fall of empires. We talk about things could get worse. We could be facing a famine uh, in the incoming years. Uh, we could be uh, doing without food. Uh, our uh, financial system could collapse at any moment. You know, there's, we're uh, in the middle of a grand solar minimum. Uh, there are certain agendas that's being pushed right now all around us. You know, some of them's through vaccines and some of them's through through different drugs and guys. There's just tons of things that that, have, that there's agendas going on. Population control through these methods and stuff like this. So what we saw about the the polluting of the air, uh, the poisoning of the land, like we talked about in one of the earlier videos. All these things we talk about these things at Deep South Homestead because we want to talk about the truth. And the truth today is not popular. It's not something that somebody wants to hear. Uh, I have I have family members even that, that will tell me I don't want to hear it. I've got I have friends. I don't want to hear it, Danny. I don't want to hear it. I want to believe that everything's going to be okay because if not, I'm gonna get depressed, you know, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take something. And and guys, look, that right there is the sign of the end of an age because we're there. Second Timothy four. The people will not endure sound doctrine. They want their ears to be tickled. As a matter of fact, I think this is only mentioned one time in the whole Bible, and this is where it's mentioned at. And guys, I mean, I'm not here today to preach. I'm here today to just tell you the cold, hard facts, whether it's popular or where it's not popular, because you know what? I have a platform here, and the Bible tells me that there's going to come a day when every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that he is Lord and that we'll have to give an account for what we've done here on this earth. And I have a platform. If I sit up here on this platform and I tickle your ears and I don't do what I'm supposed to do, there's going to come a day I will stand before my Creator and I will have to give an account for that. Now, I would rather have... People on YouTube not be happy with me, then I had my creator to not be happy with me. Now, that's not popular with a lot of people. A lot of people go like, well, I don't know if I even believe that there's a hereafter. It doesn't matter if you believe that there's a hereafter or not. The fact of the matter is you're going to die one day. Nobody's ever escaped it except a couple of people, and they were taken by the Lord himself. And this is the bottom line. Whether you believe me or not, I have absolutely nothing to lose by believing in the hereafter. Because if I die and there is no hereafter, then I've lived a good moral life and I have nothing to regret either way. But if you die and you don't believe in a hereafter and you get to the other side and there is a hereafter and there is a creator, and you do have to give an account for what you've done for yourself, then you will pay the penalty, and you lose. You see, it's, it's worth it to be told the truth now and to work toward the truth than to have your ears tickled and to be misled and live in a fairy tale land in some kind of fantasy world that everything is going to be hunky-dory for the rest of your life. And you know what? It might be. There's no guarantees that it won't. Because you know what? This got threw up in my face by a family member here a while back. Danny, people's been saying what you've been saying for the last thousand years. And nothing has happened. And I will totally agree with that. I don't have a problem with that. But you know what? I'm still going to talk about it anyway. Because there's things that has happened that is prophetic. 
that I believe puts us on a time clock again. And there are certain agendas that's being pushed right now. And if I don't stand and say something, I feel like I will have to give an account for that one day. And I don't want to stand before my Creator and have to give an account for something that I had perfect opportunity to do. Because, guys, I am not here to tickle anybody's ears. I am not here for entertainment, even though I do entertain every so often. Even though I'm not, I'm not a stick-in-the-mud kind of person, I do have my fun. Y'all watched my live stream here this past week. We told you about a lot of the skits and the, and the, um, the pranks I used to pull and all the kind of things like that. And, I mean, that was just the kind of guy I was. I was always pulling a joke on somebody or somebody was pulling a joke on me. I was always laughing and carrying on, and I still do that. Guys, but this is the bottom line. I am a serious person also. Um, scripture tells me, we've talked about this before, that a prudent man or a wise man sees the destruction coming and he makes provisions for it, but the simple pass on and are destroyed. Now, Depends on which one you want to be. Do you want to be the prudent or the wise man and you want to make provisions for what might be coming? Or do you want to be the simple man who just says, oh, throws his cares to the world and passes on, and the Bible says, and he is destroyed. I mean, the choice is yours. It, it, we have a choice to make. And whatever we do with it is how our outcome will be. And... As I sit and talk to Wanda about this, you know, we come to the conclusion we're going to, um, probably the first of the year, we're going to make some changes about YouTube. Um, we're, you know, we're putting in a lot of hours for a small, very small amount of money. And it, uh, Wanda and I have health issues just like anybody else does. And we, um, we need time, just like anybody else, um, time to enjoy our lives, um, because you know we're not getting younger. Let's just be frank and honest about it. We stay wound up 99% of the time, trying to achieve certain goals in our life, and we've come to the conclusion that some of them, it doesn't matter how hard we push to help and to make sure that they happen. Um, there's no more appreciation for them than if we'd have just hadn't done them at all. So we're going to uh, probably come first of the year, we're probably going to be making some, some, some changes. And we've told y'all all along that 2019 there would be changes coming to Deep South Homestead. Uh, and there has been a lot of changes come to Deep South Homestead. And one of them is, I'm sitting here in it right now, is this cabin. Uh, this cabin has been a big change come to Deep South Homestead. We are actually creating a second homestead on our homestead. One is on grid, one is off grid. We are, uh, even though I grew up living this lifestyle off grid as a child, uh, there's a lot that I didn't get when I was a child. Wanda and I are going back. We're living it. We're learning. Uh, we'll have some videos coming up about um, what we're learning about this lifestyle, um, the pros and the cons to it, the things we like about it, the things we don't like about it, uh, the, the conveniences that it provides, uh, the inconveniences that it provides. Uh, we're going to be doing some videos on that. In the future, a lot of our videos will come from the cabin here. Uh, we're gearing ourselves away from the modern lifestyle. Um, we're, uh, kind of pulling back, going to become more reserved. And uh, the Bible says to be still and know that I am God. And I think that the problem is today that none of us are still enough anymore. We don't stop and we don't listen to the birds. Uh, we don't watch the animals. As a matter of fact, I've really been considering putting up a video just strictly about animals and the sounds they make and the, the actions that they take, and the way that they move, the things that they do. I've been going to do a video on nature itself because of the things I've learned from being in the woods for so many years of my life, uh, walking with the animals, talking with the animals, um, 
one is amazed that sometimes I can tell her, I'll say, well, this is going on right over there because the animals are doing this. And, and she'll say, well, how do you know? Or like, like for a snake, for instance, I'll tell her there's a snake right over there in the woods, right, John? Or, and she'll say, well, how do you know? I said, because the birds are telling me he's there. And I'll go get a gun and I'll go over there and I'll usually kill a big snake. And, but it's because I walked with the animals in the woods for so many years and I spent so many years with them learning from them and guys I miss that I miss being still and knowing things I miss the life that was that's around me I sit here right now I, I can count one two three four five six squirrels right here playing there's two in the tree up here above me cutting aprons on this metal roof you may hear them hit every now and then uh, there's one by my peach tree right down yonder I hear one jumping in a tree right here beside me Hang on. I don't take time anymore to sit and enjoy this. I take, because I'm in a rat race, I'm trying to make the, make videos, I'm trying to do, we're, we're trying to push, 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 push. And we're missing, we're missing the joys of life, you know? And so we're going to probably start cutting back and we're probably going to, you know, we're going to spend a lot more time in relaxation. Um, there's nothing better than for me to sit here on this porch and I look down yonder at the beautiful green pastures, you know. It reminds me of the 23rd Psalm. You know, he leads me beside still waters. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. I think about that when I see that beautiful deep green grass down yonder in that pasture. And there's so many things like that that that's in right before my eyes and yet I, I don't see them now because we're so wound up. One and I are becoming to the realization that it's time for us to back off and to enjoy some of our life now. And um, you'll you'll probably see more about this in the future. We're trying to work toward that goal right now uh, because for the amount of time we're putting in YouTube right now, it, and I'm not complaining, guys. Believe me, I'm not complaining because this is a platform that God has given me and I have used it, and I've used it well for, for him, and I will continue to do that. It's just that Wanda and I want to spend more time with him, and we want to be able to, uh, to just be still more often than what we are. We want to enjoy some of the things that he's blessed us with. And, um, you know, even, uh, even our Patreon views have gone down. Um, everything just seems to be backing off. Uh, the world is pushing more toward the entertainment side of life. Um, and as I told you, that's not who we are. Um, we're about, we're about raising vegetables. We're about raising animals. We're about, uh, the everyday walk of life. Um, the uh, things that's going on around us, the, the collapse of our economy, the collapse of our world, you know, real events, not, not make believe stuff but real life changing events, real LCEs in the world. We talk about, you know, the weather, we talk about uh, weather anomalies, the grand solar minimum, and we're in contact with people constantly all over the world about the things that's going on in other parts of the world. And it's not just us, you know, uh, there's things all over the world happening. If it was just us, I would say, well, it might not be so, but you know, we're in contact with people from Australia, several people from Australia, you know, uh, Sweden, um, just different places all over, you know, the UK and different places like that. Um, guys, it's uh, when they're seeing the exact same things that we're seeing here, then it's, it's not fake. And it's not just us. It's real. There's a global agenda going on right now. And this global agenda is being pushed by all nations, not just this nation. Uh, the food, you know, the food crisis. We talk about that on our, some of our videos. People in other countries are telling me, gosh, food here, and when they tell me the price of it, it just like blows me away. I'm like, wow, how can you afford that, you know? And they talk about how that there is no certain types of food in the country right now. And how that they actually have armed guards in some countries standing over some food sources. And how that China is now um, completed the Silk Road down and they've taken over a couple of ports. Uh, 
uh, by seaports there, which gives them complete access now into uh, Western Africa, where they can take over vast areas in there, and they buy up land for, for growing and stuff like this. And Guys, when you see this kind of stuff happening, I mean, it's real. There, there's no denying that it's real. And when you see the corruptness in our federal government today, we have we have people up there that's trying to um, that's trying to do some good, and yet uh, the evil is is against them so bad, and it's, the nation is just in turmoil right now. I mean, we're actually a divided nation right now, and there is not um, there, there's not a real good answer for the future for us. You know, and I, I've looked and looked and thought and prayed and talked and. There really isn't a good outcome for what we're facing. And it's just, uh, we're at that point in life. And for me to sit here and to tickle your ears and to tell you something totally off the wall, to tell you that, oh, all this stuff that there, yeah, guys, it's just a hoax. Don't pay any attention to it. Uh, I would be lying to you. And that's not something that I want to do. I don't find joy in talking about hard things. Uh, it's very difficult because I know that there's lots of people out there with disabilities that struggle on a daily basis, um, have health issues. Wanda and I have massive health issues, and we struggle every day, just like a lot of you guys do who have health issues. And, you, and look, you'll never know how much I appreciate some of the videos that y'all send me of... Uh, of your ways of dealing with your health issues and gardening. Because Wanda will say, hey Danny, uh, we just got a new video in. Somebody just sent me an email, check this out. And I'll go and and uh, I don't know if the brother minds me mentioning it or not. I hope not. But there was a brother who sent me a, an email uh, and a little video. Uh, he was in a wheelchair and, uh, and he was running a tiller, filling up some raised beds there, you know. Guys, he, he was in a wheelchair. He couldn't do anything. He was just, he's wheelchair bound, but he's out with a tiller, and he's tilling up the ground to grow some food. Now, that is inspiration at its finest. There's someone who has sucked it up and said, you know what, I'm not going to sit here, even though I have a disability, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do without. I'm going to try to do something. And God will honor that. God will help those who help themselves. And, 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 and I'm not going to call his name or anything, but I really appreciated that particular video. And we get others. You know, that one just sticks out in my mind. And guys, that's encouragement. That's totally encouraging. That people are just not giving up and throwing in the towel and saying, well, I can't do anything about it, so I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. And, you know, Guys, there's people with disabilities out there that's busting their tails to try to make something happen. And then there's people with disabilities that just can't do anything. And those are the ones that my heart breaks for. I look at those people and I go, Lord... Oh, if I could just help some way, you know, but it's not intended for me to help everybody. It's intended for me to do what I'm doing right now. That's my plight in life. And I have to do what I have to do. I'm not going to tickle your ears. So if you don't like the fact that I'm not an ear tickler or I'm not an entertainer and all this kind of stuff, I'm so sorry. But I'm a cold, hard, truth of the facts kind of person. I don't try to be a doom and gloom person. I believe in being truthful and telling you that hard times are ahead. And we're going to face them pretty soon, I believe. And it, it, would, be, it would be wise for us to make provisions for them before it's too late. And we have to do without. Or we have to comply with something in order to get food. So guys, today has not has not been a video to be doom and gloom. It's not been a video to be entertaining. It has been a video to say, I hope and I pray that I am not tickling your ears. I hope when you come to Deep South Homestead, 
and you come to porch time and you come to the different videos that we make that you learn life changing skills from us and not some fantasy lifestyle that homesteading might be. Guys, I hope we always show you how to survive and how to live rather than just sitting and talking about it. Because that's our, that's our goal on our channel is to show the things that we do. To show us planting the ground. To show us tilling the ground. To show the crops that fail. To show the crops that succeed. Right now I have butter peas growing up here in the front. It's done frosted three mornings in a row here. And them things are still growing. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, that just blows me away. They're still blooming and got beans on them. I told Wanda, I said, you know what? We've canned enough of them. We're not going to can another thing off of them. We're going to leave them till they completely die. And we're going to gather the seeds as they get ready. And we're going to put them up on Etsy. And we're going to sell them to people. Because this plant and this bean that we've acclimated to this climate and, and, climate and zone 8 has turned out to be a drought tolerant, cold resistant plant right now that seems to be flourishing and doing well. And as we get the seeds, we put them over on Etsy. And if you're interested in them, they're the speckled butter pea. You keep checking out our Etsy store and you will find them over there. Because guys, this is our goal is to get the good stuff, the good seeds, the good things into the hands of people who can use them like sugarcane right now. I have an abundance of sugarcane that we're putting up on Etsy because we need to get rid of it because guys, in a life-changing event, you're going to need some sort of sweetener. And if you live in a zone, zone 7 or lower, where you can grow sugarcane, it's worth it to grow it. Even if you just grow it in a small spot in your backyard, guys, you can make a sugar substitute out of it that's completely natural. So these are the things that we're doing on our channel to try to help other people. So guys, uh, thank you for sitting here today and taking your time up with me. Uh, thank you for being so patient. I'm not ranting. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating the bare facts, guys. I hope I'm not tickling your ears at Deep South Homestead. Thank you, guys, from Deep South Homestead.